Hi friends, I'm Jess and welcome to the Text Library where I post reading, writing, book, and plan related content a couple of times a week. Today is going to be a goodbye video. As some of you may know, if you've been here for a while, I have been for a long time. I call myself an admin deity. Basically, I'm like the facilitator, the creator of this thing called Storyteller's Hearth. It was originally called the Worldwide Write-a-thon. Uh, prior to that, it was a 12-hour sprint with some friends from a camp NaNoWriMo cabin. This has got some deep lore to it. So it started in 2019. In April camp we did a 12-hour sprint uh, relay so there were 12 of us we each had an hosted an hour and then in July of that year we did I think we did like two hour blocks maybe I don't remember it's been a long time we're talking 2019 it's been a minute and then after we did I was one of the organizers with the social distance book fest that was created by Bethany and beautifully bookish Bethany in 2020 where because everything was shut down um, we put together this weekend event where we had a bunch of uh, panels with different authors come in and talk about the books that they had releasing that year and kind of gave them the panels that they normally have at like book cons and things but online instead and I took that idea coupled it with the sprint relay and came up with the worldwide write-a-thon and so the first worldwide write-a-thon event was in October of 2020 and it was fun. There was a lot of really good things that came out of that event. The main one being our friends at the Troublemakers. For me that was like a highlight of the entire event. That has been one of the biggest things is just the friendships that I've created since this event started. I definitely had friends that I'm still friends with before that event like Kate and Becca and Phoebe who are like some of the people that I've been friends with since the beginning of the booktube our booktube and I should say because we've been around for a long time and are almost at our eight-year anniversary Kate and I our anniversary is a month apart we're almost at our eight-year anniversary we've been here a long time we've been doing this a while the world world by right of was <laughs> impossible to say and that is so but the best parts of it is that like so many people struggle to say it and that was you know as we'll get into part of the reason why the name was changed but I just liked alliteration and I wanted to go with Worldwide Write-a-thon and I was like I'll say it slowly enough for it to make sense and uh, it was fun. We had a good time. Um, we were doing events uh, kind of tied in with NaNoWriMo which is an organization that I no longer support for many reasons of things that happened in the year 2023 and part of 2024. Um, but we were very much tied into that um, and having events happen in the month prior to a nano event, just as like a um, preparation or a setup for the event. Originally in the very first, the very first one, um, I just had people apply to either like, and they put in whether they wanted to be a co-host or a host and I just made the schedule and so like people were forced to be friends <laughs> I just threw you in I was I just took people and I made a schedule and it just happened and while that was fun I did have experience with being thrown in as a host for a panel that included some people that I do not promote or support or want to have on my channel because I don't agree with their practices and yet that video lives in perpetuity on my channel for the rest of forever. At least I think it's still there. Could be hidden. But after having that experience of hosting an event without being to choose who was there um, and having someone on my channel that I don't agree with their um, human rights views, their the way that they handle their businesses, the way that they present themselves on the internet. I was like, I don't want to force anybody to have to do that. So I took away the part where I was making the schedule for everyone and instead we started just doing, I would 
take a group of people who wanted to be hosts, put them in a wheel, spend the wheel, whoever the wheel picked out to be hosts, I figured out a schedule and then you picked your own co-hosts so that no one had to have that experience of having to spend two hours on a live stream with someone that they don't like because it is very awkward and you can definitely tell because again been there done that and prior to that experience I had never really thought of that being an issue because I was just like we're all here we're all having a good time why does it matter um <laughs> so that changed I'm pretty much so well known for every year at the end of the October live stream just being like and here's all of the changes we're making for the next round and I would just change things I would just add in whatever and one of the things that I just changed and added in whenever was bringing in Sam from Writing Mom Samantha El Masek, who I'll link below. Sam came in as like trying to help with some of the stuff in the background and I was like well since you're here in the background you might as well just hop on screen with me um, and be in here with me for this as well. Um, so I've gotten to know Sam so much more over the last I don't know however many years um, and having her help do all the things and she made me much more organized and would not let me have all of my crazy ideas and fun things. I would be like at 2 a.m. I would text Sam and be like oh, okay but what if we do this thing and then she would text me back the next day and be like you are insane we can't do that here's all of the logistical reasons why that's not possible which on one hand is like why are you not letting me have any fun but on the other hand is like you know maybe she's got a point okay sure you know there was that so that was uh, I think that was in 2022. I honestly, I can't tell you when it was that Sam joined in. I, I have no idea. 2021, 2022, who knows. With that, we started an, its own Instagram account, its own YouTube account. We have a Discord server. We started doing two tracks of streams where we had one that was for the more fast paced people who wanted like sprint after sprint after sprint and then another for people who wanted more chatty fun times and we went from 12 hours to 24 to 36 to 48 craziness uh we went sometimes we had 12 hosts sometimes we had as many as like i think the one we had like 18 hosts for or 20 hosts for I don't even know one of the ones that was 48 hours we had a behemoth butt ton of hosts do you know how many host info cards I had to make so many so much work so many hours so much time all of these things that I and and just like coming up with different layouts and different themes and and scheduling and all of these like paying for Canva, paying for uh, StreamYard, paying for uh, having our logo made when we switched over to Storyteller's Hearth, which we decided to do because it, we were trying to, I'll talk about that in a minute. Anyway, all of those things, okay? All of the work stressed me out, <laughs> okay? But I loved it. I've learned so many skills. I've learned I've learned so much over the years just like trying to do things for the event and and trying to um, make it the best event that it could be and so like I learned how to use Excel sheets and I learned how well I'm Google Sheets let's be honest um, I learned how to use Google Sheets I learned uh, how to use Canva I learned how to make thumbnails better and how to make better graphics and um, just really put in all of this work and all of these things into this event that has then also made my channel better because I've also put all of the extra work into that. At some point we did decide or I decided that um, because I am not really writing anymore or I was definitely getting out of writing and becoming more of a reading person it felt weird to have myself tied to this write-a-thon event when I myself was not really what I would consider a writer anymore. Um, at this point, like right now as we sit here on October 25th, 2024, I have not written anything in over a year, at least. I've written down ideas that I've had. Um, so like if I have an idea, I write it down. I've done a little bit of character building for um, a story that I'm working on for Wallace. But overall, I haven't written anything in over a year. And before that, it was very sporadically. Like I might write 5,000 words over a weekend but then wouldn't write again for six months. So having myself tied to this event called the Worldwide Write-A-Thon just felt disingenuous. Um, so Sam and I discussed, you know, having the name change from being an event to being a community uh, because we were a community. I mean, honestly, again, as I said, 
some of my best friends have came out of this and I have met so many people through the event not just the original four troublemakers but also anybody that's in the trouble troop that you know you're the regulars you know who you are all of you met through this event there are also other people I'm not going to name anyone specifically because I'm afraid that I will forget somebody and I will feel like a jackass so you know you've been here you know who you are you I love you guys you're great so many people that I have met through this event and having that community feel was more important moving forward and I decided that I wanted to try to pull in some of my reader friends as well um, so we've had some um, booktube creators host events as well since we've changed over to the Storyteller's Heart. As I said, that was a logo that I paid for that Sam and I came up with the name. We went through a lot of different um, like company creation workshoppy things to come up with the logo design, the new name, the branding, just figuring things out. It took a long time. We, we really went through it, like coming up with all this new stuff, changing the name and really making it about the community aspect versus just a write-a-thon. And it really is supposed to be a place for people to come together and have this just where people who like to tell stories or consume stories can hang out. And it really did become that. Even though I've enjoyed it, I've also been, if we look at the last track record, uh, with the event, I oftentimes don't host a sprint because I know that I am stressed to the max and I don't want to be responsible for hosting a sprint. I also feel bad if I take somebody's spot because there are limited spots and there are some people who want to host. I feel bad if I take a spot because then I'm like, well, that's somebody else who can't do it. And then I feel stressed about that. A lot of times I have been so sick that I haven't been able to do my sprint and I've had to have other people do them for me. I've had Katie and Devesha on the back end come in and run my sprint for me while I laid in bed and slept. <laughs> so there's definitely been, you know, things that have happened over the years. Since 2019, I have watched my sister have a four year battle with cancer that she ultimately lost had to take in I think Danica was 12 when we started and through all of like my sister's cancer treatments and everything like I was responsible for a 12 year old and then when she died I became responsible for a 14 year old 15 year old how old was Danica I don't know anyway became responsible for a teenager like you know you just talk about like life changes and how much stress that was on top of everything else and honestly there was a lot of quiet time for me like not being around on the internet in general but so many people from the event just from like posts that I would make on Instagram about like what was going on in our personal life and what was going on with my sister so many people would reach out to me and everyone was so kind so gracious so incredibly wonderful about everything that was going on dealing with that part of my life and it being a hot mess you guys definitely like carried me through that for sure. I don't know that I would have been emotionally able to deal with all of that without you guys. You guys definitely got me through that for sure. And whether it was, you know, with the stress or with just having somewhere to like just hide, that also was good. And, it, you know, having an event, I think we had an event the month that she died because it was April. So we would have had an event right before. Yeah, because we would have had an event in March. And uh, having something else to focus on was key at that point. Because you can't, you can't just live in the moment when stuff like that's happening. Like, it was bad. It was, it was really bad here. <laughs> and uh, having something else to focus on and to just talk to you guys and have a way to escape was so helpful and fantastic. And, then, and I think as a community, because again, Storyteller's Hearth is a community and I'm not leaving the community. I'm still going to be here. I'm still going to be on sprints with you guys if you'll have me and I'll be applying to be a host for events in the future. It, for whatever Sam and Sarah make it into, I don't know. And that's kind of fun too, having someone else in it and having, you know, me step down means that Sarah and Sam can do whatever they want. 
like they can have whatever idea they want they don't have to make it in this ideal of what I have in my brain of what I've been working with for all this time they can just go crazy they can do whatever they want and that is so exciting and so fun to just be like they can do whatever they want to do with the community but yeah I'm not leaving the community because you guys are everything that's the best part of, of the whole thing is has been the community and we have done so much together we've had again so many friend groups come out of it so many both indie and traditionally published books um and so many more to come in the future there are so many of you that have books that have come out um some that I have beta read for some that I have helped do like CP kind of stuff um, books that I've given opinions on covers or just having being able to be a part of these things and like seeing you guys do um, your different books through different iterations of like you know seeing where you're at with it in April and then seeing where you're at in July and like getting to watch you go through these processes of creating your books the best parts right and then when we became Storyteller's Hearth and we became the community originally I had we uh, I had added in trying to do more like planning content or just other kind of fun things that we could do together and I haven't been doing that because I haven't really been doing much of the planning lately anyway um but I do think that that is something that Sam and I both talked about like what can we bring ourselves into the community if we're going to make it a community thing um, and so those were fun to do. I really loved doing the planning events, um, like the live streams, just like going on a live stream, hanging out with you guys for hours and planning. So much fun. Love that. Would love to continue to do that in the future if I ever really get back into doing planning online. But yeah, it's it's been a time. Like it's been a time. <laughs> TM. And and I, I don't want to say I've loved every minute of it because I definitely haven't but I feel like being the admin deity is just not good for my health. I, I feel like this baby grew so quickly and became this thing that I have no control over. I can't continue to stress out about it you know. I can't continue to have just that automatic knee-jerk reaction to like the, the whole thing just the whole thing okay we have gone through like getting rid of what we call in the U.S. the overnight streams because I would lay awake all night panicking that something bad would happen and then someone would blame me like if somebody you know couldn't their internet went out or whatever and then it would be my fault that there was no stream at that time because I wasn't awake and I couldn't solve the problem that's ridiculous <laughs> no one expects me to be up for 48 hours straight when there's a 48 hour ride long just because I am the one who created it but I have that in my brain so I think that you know for me my mental and physical health stepping down is 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 and was the right decision but as I said I'm gonna be around in the community I'm not going anywhere so here I still exist on the internet we're all still friends we also follow each other on the YouTube we also follow each other on the Instagram I'm like 195 on the MySpace we're all still here and we're also here to support each other and our books and our writing and whatever endeavors we all come to in the future. I wouldn't change a thing about the way that this has gone because again so many friendships so like in 16-ish days I'm gonna be hanging out with Kate, Becca, Lindsay, Katie, Wallace, Devasha. I think that's everybody and me. I think that's right. I don't know. I've been to Michigan, I've been to Pennsylvania with two different groups of people. You know, it's it's just been, it's been a time and like I've learned so much from you guys. I've learned so much and I've got to read so many great books and I've just been having a time. I've been out here having a time. And so while I'm saying goodbye to Storyteller's Hearth as being an admin deity and handing Sam as much shit as I can hand her. <laughs> take all of this here's all of the templates here's all of the brain trust here's all of the everything just take it I don't want it anymore being able to do that is just like an absolute relief I'm really I'm really feeling good about it which is odd but I I might change my mind <laughs> how I feel about it you know like when the next event whatever it may be comes around and I might be like man wish I'd been part of that I wish I had thought of that I wish I was you know still there hanging out but another part of me is going to be like, oh, I'm so glad I don't have to do that. 
we talked about it. We took March off this year just because of everything that's going on. And that was like the best time of my life. <laughs> having from November to June free and not having to think, well, okay, November to May free and not having to think about what was going to happen for the next event and like what I was going to do and how I was going to do everything and all of the things that I needed to plan in my brain and like not it was so freeing and that was like my trial run of not being here anymore I didn't tell Sam that I wanted to see how I felt first before I scared her <laughs> And uh, I basically was just like, okay, so I've had this free time. Here's what I've been thinking. Here's your opportunity. And I pretty much just said, like, I want to step down. If you want to continue, then I think the right thing to do would be to try to bring somebody in for October for them to kind of get the feel of how we operate or, you know, you can get the feel of how they operate um, and see if you want to continue forward with them or if we just want to shutter it. And I didn't think that Sam would want to shutter it because Sam, like me, also agrees that I'm assuming Sam agrees. I don't know. I'm not inside her brain. <laughs> yeah, that is the community aspect of it that we love and we love you guys. But I was pretty sure that Sam was going to be like, I got this boss. And of course she did because it's Sam. And so, you know, it's not like we're just, we, we're not shuttering it. We're leaving you in Sam's good hands. I don't know how Sam and Sarah, like the storyteller's hearth, Sam and Sarah, like all of the S's. It's going to be an alliteration fun time. And and we know I support that because I named it the World Wide ride a -thon. And I mean, come on. Like, clearly. I've now been rambling for a half hour and uh, the camera is telling me that my time is up. That's where we're going to leave it. I will probably take the next event off completely, but I'll still be around. You don't have to worry about that part. If you made it this far in the video, leave me a flower emoji down below so that we can celebrate my retirement. <laughs> I never thought of it that way, but when somebody started talking about it being my retirement, I was like, girl, yes. <laughs> I am now retired from this job. I have too many jobs and one needed to go and this was the one that had to go. So I've retired from Storyteller's Hearth. So leave me an amuse-bouche of florals below to celebrate my retirement. If you don't miss anything I have going on here in the Hex Library in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye.